Hey artists, today you will be working with clay to create an initial wall hanging or plaque. Your initial is the first letter of your name and you will be able to hang this up um, on the wall or on a door handle or something else by the time it is all done. When working with clay, you need to know the different stages of clay. Right now, the clay that you receive today will be the plastic workable stage. That means it's wet and you can turn it into anything you want when you're working with the clay in your hands. After we finish our initial um, wall hangings today, we'll let the clay dry. It will become leather hard at first and then bone dry is when it's completely dry, there's no moisture left in the clay, and that means that we can then fire it. When we fire clay, we put it into a big, really hot oven called a kiln, which is special for clay. Um, once we have done this, it's called the clay will be in the bisque stage. That means the, uh, the kiln made the clay harder and stronger so that you can keep it for a long time. After it is bisque fired, we can then add paint or glaze to the clay. So today when you're done with your initial wall hanging, it will look like this, gray, and I'll have to let it dry and then I'll put it into the kiln. In a couple weeks, we'll then add color to this project so that we can have it out at our school art show. Let's get started learning how to use the clay. When you get your clay, you will start to warm it up by working it into a ball between your hands. Cup your hands and be really strong with the clay to compress it all together. Then you'll pick a texture tool out of your table bin that you want to um, put your clay onto. Before you put the texture tool under your clay though, you're going to start to throw it down onto your clay mat to flatten it out. We're going to make a slab. Once it starts to get flat, you can then use the palm of your hand to press it out until it's as thick as a cookie. So if you see mountains or tall parts of your clay coming up, then you want to press it down with your palm. Once your clay is as thick as a cookie, take your texture um, tool, put it under your clay, use your palm to press it into it, and voila, you have texture. Next, you're going to pick a shape that you want to cut out of your clay. You will then trace that shape with a cutting tool that can be either wooden or a green cutting tool. Uh, those will be in your smaller bin. But trace it first. Don't try to cut all the way through the clay. Just lightly go around the shape. Then take the shape off and use a cutting tool to push even further down where you trace to cut your shape completely out. Take off the extra clay and roll it into a ball so that it doesn't dry out. You can use a little bit of water on your finger to smooth out the edges of the shape you cut out. So again, to start that slab, you are warming up the clay, um, pressing it into the clay mat to um, form it, the slab to make it about as thick as a cookie using your palm. Once you have done that, you're choosing your texture and your shape, making sure that your shape and your clay are both the right size. Place that texture tool under the clay and press your palm into it, and voila, there's your texture. Go ahead and trace your shape lightly at first, and then cutting all the way through the clay with your muscles the second time. Don't forget to ball up that extra clay and smooth out your edges once you've cut it out. Once you have created your texture slab, you will take that extra clay, roll it between your palms to turn it into a coil. Once it's getting into a coil, place it on your clay mat and roll it out to make a longer coil. This way you can turn it into any letter you want. So we're going to do the first letter of our names. So think about what uh, letter you need. I'm going to make a W. So when we make letters, we have vertical lines, diagonal lines, horizontal lines, and sometimes curvy lines. Notice how I took a little bit of water onto my coils to keep them nice and smooth. So I have my first vertical line of my W. Now whenever you attach something with clay, you're going to do something called score and slip. 
you see me scoring with a toothbrush. Score means to make little lines. So I'm gonna dip the toothbrush in water, score, and then I'm going to push down, just like I'm gluing something down, to attach it to my slab. So score, make little lines, and attach by pressing down and smoothing out my lines for my letter W. Make sure you smooth out your coils and press them down so that they can attach to the slab in the background. Also, don't forget to smooth out the edges of your slab. If you wanted to stamp in some other designs, if you have some extra time, you sure can using the different tools in your bin to make your initial um, slab art your own. All right, everybody, one last time in hyperspeed. You'll take that clay, press it out so that it is as thick as a cookie using your palm. Make sure it's big enough for the shape you want it to be. Press it down into whatever texture you choose, again, using your palm. Then trace that shape with a tool. After you trace your shape, cut all the way through the clay. Take out that excess clay to start to make your coils for your letter that you will be attaching. Roll out the coil on your clay mat, and if you want to keep it nice and moist, you use a little bit of water. And finally, form that coil into your letter. So now I'm gonna make a J, um, remembering that I need to have a curve for my J. Uh, score and slip, and then press down really hard to attach, and score and slip the top line of my J, and press down to attach that. Your last step can be adding other designs and textures, or even if you have a little space to add another little shape, uh, you may add those last creative touches to your clay art. Good luck!